Spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Good evening, and welcome to the review portion of Moster Does the Crossword for Thursday, what is it, the 16th? Yes, tomorrow will be Thursday, September 16th, 2021. Um, this is the review, so we're starting with the spoilers, um, and I'm going to go through and tell you what I thought about the puzzle, look at some interesting things or some watch points or a couple ones in this one that fucking annoyed me. Um, and that's pretty much the deal here. There is a separate video that is the totality of me spending 18 minutes and 12 seconds going through the crossword. Uh, but the objective is that this is a little bit more targeted and therefore shorter, etc. So, one more time, thank you very much for coming, and here we go. Um, so in general, I like this one. This silver lining thing is actually, it's not terrible, and it's the whole thing. So it's the entire border of the puzzle is all of these on the outside of this square. So you can see, I don't know why I'm going so crazy with this, but Silver Bells is the Christmas Carol and Silver Back and Silver Age. And then going down here, you have Silver Tongue and Silver Screen and Silver Spoon and Silver Ware and Silver Fox and Silver Surfer and Silver Bullet. And I thought that was pretty nifty. I thought that was a nice way to do the theme. Um, yeah. Once I got it, it was actually, it was, you know, first figuring out that it was both sides and then blah, blah. But again, I thought it was pretty good. Um, I'll go to the photos in a second, the screenshots. I just want to call out that I really did not like this London area for six Premier League teams playing it. I just think it's friggin' wonky and weird and what's the definition of London area for something like this. Um, but, you know, whatever. That's Moster being Moster as much as anything else. Uh, so let's go through the other stuff, and that'll be that. Okay, I didn't take a ton of photos of this one. I mean, we just went through the theme, which is the important part. Uh, but this one, do a certain veterinary job, spay. Uh, it was pretty easy to figure what that's going to be on four letters. This is also good because you can see, A, that I didn't really have a lot to say, but B, that the first round, especially the first cro across round, I did not fill very much in, which is always, you know, I kind of dig it when that happens. Uh, Japanese company with six stars in its logo is Subaru. This is an interesting one for me because it's also kind of technically Fuji, and Subaru is supposedly the star in the crown of Fuji Heavy Industries. But maybe I'm making that up, who the fuck knows. Um... Gorn Moore SFX. I think this ends up turning out wrong, actually. Yeah, that ends up being an S. So we'll see. I don't remember what that one was, but I'm sure we'll see eventually. Um, but this, Welcome at the Front Door, see in. There's been a lot of this in various forms, see in or show in or whatever, allow even. Um, so this is just one of those that I think we're going to be seeing for a while. Similarly with this one, Furs for Christmas Trees, uh, I know I just saw this. I can't remember if it was here or if it was in the syndicated one or the other one that I do. But be on the lookout for Furs because it's going around. Um, just stop already enough. I like this one. And this kind of, I don't remember what I had over here before. I had Loon and Nine. All those things. I had something at some point that I had to delete. Um, but... This really got me a confirmed Loon and Thy, <clears throat> and um, kind of got me going in the right place for this. And you can see I came fairly quickly around. I didn't take a lot of photos. Earworms, if I remember, we'll go back to afterwards. But lacking, devoid of, I thought that was pretty neat. And then having the of in there is just another thing to keep in your mind. Uh, similarly... Nearly massless subatomic particle, neutrino. That's kind of the only thing it could be, but it's also a good thing to remember. I wouldn't be surprised if that came up lately. And you can see what I was talking about before. 
uh, caves ends up being wrong up there. We'll figure that out later. Um, some flower girls, nieces. Again, this is a pretty root one. You know, your sibling's daughter ends up spreading the flowers on your fucking wedding, whatever. However that stuff works. And player at the highest elevation in NFL stadium, Bronco. It's the Denver Broncos. I don't know why I just knew that, but I just knew it. Um, and what is this here? Rene Descartes for the philosopher. That's just another one that somebody might not you know, be familiar with. And this is the whole silver lining thing, but I've kind of already beaten that up, so we'll move on. Uh, London area I've complained about already as well. This one, inducting into the Basketball Hall of Fame, O'Neal. It's Shaquille O'Neal. For some fucking reason... I have this problem. I've done it two or three times recently where it's been basketball Hall of Fame and I thought it was baseball or the other way around. So it's something for me to keep in my brain more than anything else. Um, silence, no response. I wanted to call this one out because it was a little bit out of place. You know, when they do the brackets, that's kind of what they're going for. Um, but yeah, and I think that's the last one I filled in. So let's go back to the puzzle quick and what else did I want to talk about here oh this is gore and more owls well that's completely different I had SFX being like special effects so alright that makes sense and this one I wanted to call it also some significant others it's BFs I had the FS I just wasn't sure if it was a B or a G uh, so that's something to keep your eye out for also earworms I think I mentioned before that I was going to talk about um, for extremely catchy tunes and also go to jail ended up being this Monopoly Square and this one took a little time because I at first I thought that there was going to be AVE or something but then if you read the clue it says flat out Marvin Gardens and Pacific Avenue so it wouldn't be an abbreviation it's going to be the whole thing and that's kind of what got me over there but that's another thing that it's important to uh to keep in mind is you have to remember that when they spell everything out they want you to spell everything out when they abbreviate things they want you to abbreviate things um but i don't think there's too much else this was a little bit of a rare one ingests for discharges um opposite of ingests but it makes sense oh and uvulas for parts of soft palates i had no idea what the fuck that was um but yeah, I think that's it for this one, so uh, no need to belabor it any further. Thank you again for your ears, and I wish you a peaceful journey.